Hi folks, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how easily you can get up and running with Nginx and Zen Server 6. Just point your browser at zen.com, select the Products tab, choose Zen Server, select Download Zen Server. Notice the download page takes me to uh, a highlighted window for the operating system that I'm currently running on. In this case, happens to be Linux, which is required by uh, Nginx and Zen Server. Go ahead and click on the tar file to download the installer script. That'll take just a second for the request to complete. Notice we got the thank you page. So I can then go over to my downloads folder, grab the installer script uh, compressed file. I'll go ahead and decompress that. Now, just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to rename this to be Zen Server install and I'm going to drop that in my home directory so I can run it from there. You don't have to do that, I just do it for simplicity's sake. So now you can see that um, we have the Zen Server install folder here in my home directory. So let's navigate to that folder. And you'll notice that uh, the installer script that I'm going to run is install underscore zs dot sh. I'm going to need root privileges in order to do that. And there are two arguments that I want to provide the installer. One is the version of PHP that I want to be installed. And the other is simply to specify that I want to use Nginx instead of Apache. I'll say go ahead, yes, complete. Now, uh, this will take several minutes. It's going to download all of the dependencies from the various repositories and begin configuration. So I'm going to take a pause here in the video while all those downloads happen. And once they've completed, I'll pop back and we'll complete the install. Now it's done the calculations and tells me what it will need. So I'll go ahead and uh, give it permission to consume that amount of disk space. Take a few more minutes here, so we'll take another brief pause. So you can see here all of those scripted gets have completed. How long that takes, of course, will be totally dependent on the available bandwidth for your machine. Now it's uh, started to do pre-configuration and unpacking. Again, all of this is automated. It's all part of the script. Uh, it hasn't required any uh, specific user interactions on my part. So this will continue. As you can see here, it's unpacking now all the packages that were downloaded. So uh, we'll take a quick pause and come back after that's completed. And a brief check-in here. You'll notice that uh, we've made some progress. And again, this is all scripted. I'm just um, pausing and restarting so that you don't have to watch uh, as things download and install. But you'll notice here that um, uh, at this point, Nginx has been installed and configured, and now Zen Server is being installed and configured. Well, Zen Server is being configured. If we want to go test that, we can hop over and say localhost. And it tells us, welcome to Nginx. So Nginx has been successfully installed. Let's check back out here. So uh, Zen Server uh, has been installed. It's not running while it's configuring or upgrading Zen databases, so that'll take just a second. Uh, again, all automated. I'll hop back as soon as that completes. And here you can see that the install script has uh, finished running. So we can go back to our browser. We can type in localhost in the port number, uh, 10081 followed by Zen Server, should redirect there automatically. And here I am in the uh, Zen Server configuration screen, which you've probably seen before. So I'll just go ahead and provide some values for our various accounts. Setting up Zen Framework 2, the Zen Gateway. ready to go. Zen Server will turn away to create the accounts for the configuration data that I just provided. This takes a couple seconds. 
And here we are in the dashboard, ready to go. And that's it. That's all it takes to get up and running with Nginx and Zen Server 6.1.